Now it's the couple who each thinks the other is screwing America. I Say You Say is next with the Phillips. I'm Dr. Phillips, and I'm a liberal. Get to a 10-step program, That's man. 12 steps. Yeah, you only deserve 10. I'm also Dr. Phillips, and I'm conservative. Today on the show, is it okay to talk to people we were at war with once? And the skyrocketing price of buying off a politician. And we talk to people without health care who are genuinely happy not to be burdened with it. It's political debate and discussion from the right and the wrong side of the track. Let's go to the phones before right-wing anger engulfs my wife. Who's on the line? Hi, I have an eating disorder. So I, like, moved to the West Coast? No, that's so sad. Maybe you need a support group with some caring friends. Yeah, maybe you should keep your finger out of your throat and eat a donut. 99% of the world wake up each day and eat dirt, and Queen Puke-a-Lot here can't keep a meal down? Boo-hoo! What do you expect, sympathy? This is Los Santos. People would give their right arm and left leg to live here. It's paradise, but you have to suffer to belong. You can't take the heat. Get out of the nuclear reactor. Next caller. Yeah, uh, I agree with that caller about the nuclear plant next to the projects. You know, nature has a way of taking care of poor people. Tornadoes don't like poor people. Right, like I don't do laundry. I'm liberated, independent, and I have three maids, all of them on less than minimum wage. I mean, poor people are so happy to work for me. Especially when I help them unionize. Uh, Do you have a question? Sort of. Hey, you know, I got the same name as you. Yeah, Peyton. Oh, well, it's a family name. No, it's... Mary. I was called Bruce by my parents, but I prefer Mary. It's much more... Yeah, feminine. No, biblical. Which, like, okay, I'm an atheist, but I love the Bible. I have a hundred that I took from hotel rooms. Well, what's your question? <laughs> well, as a mother and a fireman, I was wondering what you guys thought about diversity in America. It makes me very nervous. Well, you see... I'm heavily into diversity. I'm like a a man with a womb, lactating. Yes, I think you're a little confused. No, you're the one that's confused. I'm the one who eats Alaskan salmon and children from Alabama. I speak English, I eat German food, I practice French adultery, and I weigh as much as Vatican City. I'm an American. Okay, you're a nut. Get off our show. Mary, would you please stop eyeing the producer? I already slept with him. So did I. Ooh. Brian's on the line. Hello, Brian. Hi, my name's Brian. I work at Caligula's Casino in Las Venturas. Excellent. You take stupid people's money. I love it. Very capitalist. Hey, Brian, what's your concern? I did really well in the 80s, but the 90s are proving to be a real drag. The music is terrible. The recession is kicking my ass. Everyone I know has given up recreational drug use. And the president is doing my head in. The 80s were really a materialistic time. I know. I'm a shallow person. Drown me. Look, we need a movie star to be president. It works. They're the best liars. They do it professionally. Well, so do all politicians. Next caller. Yeah, I want to talk about deforestation. Yes, that is a shame, what they're doing to the thick, beautiful redwoods north of San Fierro. I was talking about women, but you're right, San Fierro is half the problem. It ain't natural, and it's un-American. Look, infatuation and disillusionment is the American way, but it works. Just look at places without professional wrestling and porno. Porno is the exploitation of women. Some people want to be exploited, like factory workers. Others want to be degraded. I mean, really, really degraded. Like a liberal having his way with you. You God, it makes me feel so dirty. Talk more slowly, please, dear. Uh, Moving swiftly on from my wife, you're on I Say, You Say, and what's your question? Yeah, this is Brad. I'm really into pleasuring myself. Good grief! Well, that's my business, but I feel discriminated against. Not only can I not practice my hobby in the privacy of my own garden or car, but my movies are rated as pornographic. I mean, let me ask you a question. Threesomes, right? Well, that's where our problem started. Yeah. Yes. The producer. Well, right. I ran a movie with two chicks and a dude, and it's called a porno. People look at me like I'm some sort of creep. But it's natural. But I ran a movie with two dudes and a chick. It's all in French. Probably wins awards. Called an art house love triangle. But it's revolting. No, you're revolting. Get off the airwaves and into therapy, buddy. Oh, that's the problem with men. You're imbeciles. And yet you married me. God, don't rub it in. I did. I was desperate. That's all we have time for, luckily. This show is headed downhill. When you take the worst qualities of an elephant and a donkey, you get a lot of shit. We'll see you next time on I Say, You Say. You said you liked me in that donkey suit. Jackass. I Say, You Say is heard only on WCTR. Be thankful.